Hey, welcome to part two of the making of the Tyvek gown and we are working on the skirt. There she is. And this video is going to be the last one for maybe a few weeks because all the steps to follow what you're about to see are pretty repetitive. It's just with um, different colored petals. So I'm not going to you know, show the same thing over and over again. So it might be a little bit before you see another video. So please follow, subscribe, all the things so you can keep watching how this Tyvek gown comes together. But let's get into this next part. Before I started painting my petals, I needed to figure out the layers and which colors were gonna go where. So I just printed out this sheet and colored on it. Then I made five different petal sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And I traced a bunch of the same size onto the Tyvek paper. Then I layered the paper on top to make multiple sheets and cut them out together. The most I was able to layer was 13 sheets and I sacrificed one of my blades for this, but it went by so quickly it was really easy to cut they didn't shift or anything like that i would definitely not recommend this with fabric but with the tyvek paper it was really easy to get a nice clean even cut on all the petals i ended up cutting about 450 petals in total there will be a front and a back because i am sandwiching a wire between the petals and to save me some sandy when i started painting i did separate the pet petals so that I had mirror images as you see here. So each size has a set of two and it helps me figure out which side to paint. When I started painting the petals, I went in with a white and then a, the Dynaflow Violet just to make a lighter lavender color for the top of the petals. I did not blend these very much. I may go back and do it later on the dress, which will be dangerous, but I do intend on blending the other petals a bit more and having more of a gradient effect. I put two coats on each petal on the front, of course, and on the back, I only painted the edges to save time and money. Here is the very unprofessional way that I got the petals lined up. I wanted to line up the first three and then, you know, figure out how I want them to hang. So I just left the skirt hanging on the dress form, marked them with disappearing ink and sewed them onto the skirt. After doing this, I realized there's no way I'm going to hang this and just mark every three petals. So I ended up laying it out on my table making sure my measurements were cor correct from the hem and lay them out again marked with the disappearing ink and would do about eight at a time, go back to the sewing machine, sew them on, come back to the table. So I just repeated this step until I made it all the way around the dress. I did before starting this mark on the skirt all the way around a sort of uh, guideline as to where I wanted the bottom petal and the top two petals to line up. So I did have a little bit of a guide going into it and here it is with the bottom level all done. Thank you so much for watching and going on this crazy Tyvek journey with me. It's definitely been a learning experience and I hope you guys are learning something too. I will be back in a few weeks, maybe a little longer because summer is here and the kids are off. So, but I'll be back as soon as I can with the completed skirt and then we will move on to making the corset.